Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing about how you can create a resource group. So let's get into the video. So I have multiple resource groups here, right? As you guys can see here, you can also go ahead and create a resource group, right? So like this, click on this, create resource group and create your resource group. And this is where you are going to decide in which reason you are going to create your resource group, right? This resource group is what? It's just a container, right? It's just a container, uh, like logical container inside which your resources will be kept, right? Then why you want to verify a region on that? Just try to find out the answer to that question, right? Anyhow, let's come back to this and I'm just going to create a new resource group here. Uh, let's say this is k21 rg and i'm going to create this resource group under a region now understand this when i'm clicking on next it is taking me to a option called as tags right what are these tags these tags are basically okay let's come here and understand this thing now let's say you are pretty much new to a company so let's say this is your company's portal xyz company portal right now they have given you a reader access we'll understand more about this reader access but you actually will be able to log into portal.azure.com by using your username and your password to your company's azure portal and you'll be able to see your resource groups so let's say there is a resource group here and there are multiple resource groups that are created like this resource group that are created so now understand this scenario what i what i'm trying to discuss here is when you will see these resource groups what all things that you will be able to see tell me guys you'll be able to see on the portal the name of the resource group name will be written and maximum you will be able to see the location right then name again location name location and all these things but as you have joined as an azure administrator and you are going to work on these resource groups you are going to manage these resource group you are going to manage the resources inside these resource groups then you also need to have some mechanism in which at least you understand which particular team is using this resource group and the resources inside this resource group don't you think does it make sense to you guys so what i mean to say here the, this is a resource group and inside this resource group you'll be having resources then how you will know who is managing who is you consuming these resources who is consuming this resource group for whom this resource group has been created just by seeing the name you will not be able to understand some companies uses nomenclature for the naming uh, naming nomenclature they will use so they will mention okay this is the uh, this is the department this is the application this is the, uh, this is the resource group so like this you will be able to understand that but if you want to know more who is actually the owner of this particular resource group who is actually owner of the resources who is who is actually going to uh, approve if you are going to make any changes on that if if it is consuming uh, more amount of uh, money uh, on on azure after you have done your uh, billing analysis cost analysis then whom you should contact right so for that there is a feature on azure called as tags right so these this tags can be used or this tags consist of two things okay first one is key and value so it's a key value pair key value pair right so by using this key value pair you can mention all these things so you can mention who is the owner right owner kumar right you can mention who is the uh, what particular department it is being used department hr right you can mention what particular costing center it has to be um, the costing has to be like taken from right so you can give this costing center as okay two six four five something like that right in this way you can mention or you can give some details about that particular specific resource group or that particular that particular specific resource inside that particular resource group so 
this kind of information regarding that particular resource group or uh, resources we call it as tags and these tags are nothing but metadata and the word metadata basically means data about data right it provides you more insights about that particular resource group or that particular resource or whatever the whatever the different services that you are going to deploy on azure data about the data okay this the uh, the I'm, I'm just giving you what is the definition of metadata so we call it as data about data so here we are providing some data about that particular resource resource right that particular resource group so that is where you can use tags in order to create your key value pair maximum number of tags can be attached to a resource is 50. this is the maximum number right each and every resource that you will create on azure portal will have this option tags this option will be there now here I can mention like this like this and you can give more key value pairs here also but okay let me give one more so like this department HR or department IT something like this you mention it you will understand more about this tax uh, on apart from uh, data about the data which is providing a metadata to your resources apart from this this will also be used for other purposes also we'll discuss about that and you just click on review and create this is how your resource group will get created so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and 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 if in case you missed upon anything or if you could not understand anything from what our trainers explained then we have something really special for you we have our free class on microsoft azure admin certification for beginners along with some question and answers under this class you'll be learning about who should learn azure cloud and why we'll be learning about azure certification roadmap for beginners and a lot of demos about azure core services more than 30 plus hands-on labs and whatnot and if you want to register for this free class then you just have to log on to k21academy.com forward slash az10402 so just now let me just give you a demo for the same all right so what you have to do is just open your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash az10402 after that you'll be seeing a page like this you just have to click on book your seats now and after that just select an event date when you're available add your name add your email address add your phone number and click on yes save my seat now moving ahead you'll be seeing this kind of link on the extreme right just save that link add it to your calendars and i'll see you in this class till then take care and keep learning